Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I am an Indian guy who doesn't really like spicy food. Yup, believe it or not, spice is my kryptonite. Anyway, when I was a little boy and I would get taken to Indian restaurants because I didn't like spicy food, there were two things on the menu that I always ended up ordering. It was either Reshmi Tikka or Malai Tikka. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make a delicious, creamy, ketogenic Malai Kebab. Oh yes my friends, this is a delicious kebab made with cheese, cream, some cardamoms. It's going to be delicious. Anyway, enough jibba jabba, let's go and cook. So the first thing we're going to do is take our chicken and chop it up into nice kebab size pieces. I'm using chicken leg meat but you can use any meat that you like. I would recommend leg and thigh meat always over chicken breast. But that's just my preference and better for you on keto. Once that's done we're going to make the marinade and I'm going to be using some processed Indian cheese. If you can't find this just use cheddar no problem. To this I'm going to add about 100 ml of cream. You can just use your regular heavy whipping cream. Now I'm going to season this with some salt, some fresh black pepper, some cardamom powder or elaichi powder and the juice of half a lime, not lemon, lime. I'm also going to add in 2 teaspoons of ghee just for that desi flavor and give it all a good mix. You want that cheese and cream to sort of mold together and become like a paste. Then in goes my chicken and then I'm going to give it all a good mix. And you're going to let this marinate for an hour at least. If you can leave it overnight, even better. And then just set it aside. Now silly me forgot to add one of the ingredients, ginger garlic paste. So I'm going to add that in Give it all a good mix and then set it aside and leave it to marinate for an hour at least. Now it's time to skewer the chicken and I have soaked my skewers in water for about 10 minutes. This ensures that they don't get burnt or anything like that. Now if you don't want to cook them on skewers you can totally just do it in the pan or in the oven just as it is and that's all right no issue no problemo. Anyway once you're done skewering the chicken it's time to cook them. So to cook the kebabs today I'm using my cast iron skillet and you can also cook these in the oven on the highest temperature that works just as well. You can also use a non-stick pan no problem. So I'm using my cast iron I've put in a little bit of ghee into it so you get that desi flavor and then just load up your skewers and let them cook. Now you don't want to have the heat too high because the cheese and the cream will burn otherwise so you want it on a moderate heat you want to let it cook peacefully on each side and of course make sure you flip the skewers over once one side is done cooking this should take about 8 to 10 minutes in total with you constantly turning the skewers as and when they are needed to be turned and cook it till the chicken is basically no longer raw that's what you want you want cooked chicken not raw chicken Anyway, once they're done, I'm going to take them out of the pan and set them aside and then finish cooking what's left. I have I had five skewers in total, so that's what I'm doing. I'm cooking five skewers, three and two. I don't want to crowd the pan that just, you know, messes things up. So anyway, once all your skewers are cooked, take them out of the pan. Now, if you guys know me, I can't have my kebabs without a little fire action. So I'm just going to give them a good little burn up on the flame, on the naked flame. I'm going to give those kebabs a char on the naked flame on my gas stove. And that is when the kebabs are truly done. So that's it ladies and gentlemen, our Malai kebabs are ready. And I'm just going to garnish it with a little fresh coriander. And there you have it, our Keto Malai kebabs are ready and they look delicious. Don't forget to serve it with some green chutney and a squeeze of lime over the kebabs. Mmm, delicious. Anyway, time to taste. Alright folks, so it's time to taste the delicious Malai kebab. And look who's back on the show. It's my dad, Mickey Makhija. Yes, he is an actor and you have seen him on television. Anyway, he's here to taste. 
guys, late lunch. But knowing what this guy cooks and seeing this stuff look like this, greed just takes over. I have to taste it. I'm going to let you know soon. Look at how heavy it is. It's bending the skewer. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. The word Malai, where it came from, it is soft, I, I don't know how else to say it, but the expression says it all, it's outstanding. Awesome. Well, my dad has given it the thumbs up. I have, I have to say I'm quite impressed. It tastes quite a bit like the restaurant stuff that you get and uh, yeah, thumbs up on the recipe. I will see you guys on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Do you like Indian food? Do you enjoy kebabs? Then I want to know what is your favorite kebab? Like your favorite kebab in the whole wide world. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, if you like kebabs, I've also done recipes for Reshmi Tikka and Chicken Tikka. And you can check them out here on the channel or on www.headbangerskitchen.com. Anyway, cheers and keep cooking.